coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The body snatcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. And they separate. Shot is blocked. Kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Lands the inside leg kick. Nice great punch. This guy's throwing early. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward.
and this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Just missed with the left there. Body attack and it's blocked. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, single collar tie now. He's having to scramble, folks. Ooh, head kick landing. Early nice punch by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Real quick leg kick. Back and forth we go. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, big head kick. Big clinch. Watch him shift and try to start getting his punches off. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Left hook counter there yet again. What a head kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Spinning back fist. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Big elbow there, Lance. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, okay, he got right out of that two. previous right. round without absorbing oh, anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Nice movement punch. 
really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time driving kick like that. I don't tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Whiffs on the straight right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, you like the thought process to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Nice shot to the body. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found... Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from he got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Under two minutes now to go. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Back to his feet. Misses with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lance switch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And they separate. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Roundhouse attempt just misses. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Big knee to the body. Big leg kick lands. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Two rounds in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely going to need to get stitched up after the fact. And blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. 
All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There it is, chest to the mat. Pressure goes down. He'll start to take the air from his opponent. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped it. It was so tight, I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Wow. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also very busy. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Block that kick to the body. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big leg kick land. It's a nice back and forth action here. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Single collar tie now. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Boy, Ty Plump. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. There's no give on that leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over for What a great way of mixing up his attacks. He didn't stay the court, he mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. And he caught the kick. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Nice punch there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Takedown defense holds up. And they set. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Massive head kick. Just misses with the kick. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Both fighters here continuing to try to... 
Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up the sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ground and pound here if you're gonna go to a submission. Get him off, get him off. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a man. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really... Real sneaky body kick. Great kicks there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And they separate. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, collar tie. Big punch to the clinch. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. And he landed the right hand there. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant struck. Nice entry into the finish direct. Taking for a rise. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Just over three minutes to go. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Back to the feet now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch in. And they set. Throws the right hand there. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Pretty good right hand. Gets up again here, but hurts. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. 
What's he gonna do to follow up? Tide will engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. And he switches to Southpaw. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie, and land those nice elbows around the guard. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice. Big power shot there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. Right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. I mean, that right hand landed square. Beautiful body kick. Big punch land. over gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. How about that chin? Punch is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Good shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Lee goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Closes the distance, gets the single. Oh, big knees! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, lands the overhand up top. to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of round number five. Going to win by knockout, the body snatcher. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. 